What's going on, everybody? Lauren with the TMF Podcast, and we're going to talk about SEAL Team, baby. Episodes three and four aired over the weekend. The last two, the final two episodes on CBS. I want to talk about what happened, what I look forward to going into the Paramount Network. But first, let's hit the intro. All right. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you want more content. I got content across the board on all kinds of stuff. This one is about SEAL Team. I do like the show. I've been watching it since day one. So what we saw happen here, we had, we had two back-to-back -back episodes, one on CBS, followed by a cliffhanger, and then one on Paramount, also followed by a cliffhanger. So spoiler alert, if you haven't seen episodes three and four, the last final one's on CBS. Pause the video, come back, watch it later, whatever. So I like how they kicked it off and, you know, they're deploying the guys back overseas. They get spun up. They're going to an area that's kind of hostile. And uh, so they get there and they, they have a commanding officer who seems to have, you know, his own agenda. He doesn't want to be so forthcoming with uh, a lot of information about why they're there, why there's so much activity there. They put him on this mission. They put him on this, uh, this HVT mission send them out and they're about to blow the door off this thing they get called back and jason hayes being the the bravo team lead that he is he just goes with the call good call right pulls back everyone's kind of butt hurt i like that we kind of took a small break from the personal drama to get a little bit more action because the last one wasn't really a whole lot of action this one was action-packed so they go back and they reconvene and they end up going to so say they're going to attack this airfield. And Bravo's like, bro, we, you know, we had them dead to rights in the, in the night, asleep, low risk. So they deploy them out to the airfield where they're immediately met with, with fire, immediately met with resistance. More guys there. There's, they have some ground crews. I guess they're already over there that are not a uh, SEAL team deployed. They get lit up. They end up getting two of the HVTs. And the big, the big kicker about that mission was the fact that Hayes finds a picture of Mandy as a hostage on the wall. We haven't seen Mandy because Mandy quit. Didn't expect to see her back on the show. So now we have this, did she quit, didn't she quit? And Jason and Mandy had this little bit of history, so he took it kind of personal. And then they get this, um, you know, they go into this epic train scene in the uh in the following episode they called back and this scene this entire like sequence was done just beautifully it was awesome it's awesome to watch it kept you on your toes you got bravo on a train with bombs explosives heading into a civilian a, you know a large civilian uh station where they are expected to blow them up one hvt on the train Sunny on top of the train, amazing, awesome, just awesome action sequence of Sunny up there. You know, and you're like, is he going to make it? What's going to happen? Then uh, the HVT gets off the train. He sends Clay and Brock to go follow him. And you're, or not Brock, it was Clay and uh, somebody else, wasn't Brock, to go follow the HVT. And I just like the overall way this entire thing was shot. It was it's like an action movie, but also re realistic, man. They get in there, they get the job done, and they, they meet resistance, you know, and, and Jason gets threatened all around. And then it gets, it leaves you on a cliffhanger. I am excited because I think, I don't know, at first I was like, I don't feel like Paramount Network is going to be any different than CBS. But I think now maybe, maybe we're going to see a little bit more of a, I don't know, I don't even know how to put it. The action was just, the, the, maybe it was just a plot that was written for it, but it just seemed a little more intense and a lot more engaging. And I'm a fan. I cannot wait to see next week to see how they get out of this Molotov uh, cocktail rain for it, fire that they've got you know, just pouring down on them. So pretty excited to see that and, uh, and we'll catch the next episode. But so far, season five has been a banger. I like, I think we'll probably get to, we'll probably have one more good episode of action and then followed by some more of what's going on at home, how Clay's going to respond to Stella being pregnant, 
how Ray's dealing with the PTSD. You got Sonny over here really missing Davis and, and obviously his kid and having all these thoughts. I think it's going to be a really good season. I hope they don't do anything drastic and give us anything that's really sad. I think they should give us just a little bit of like, what's the word I'm looking for? Maybe a little bit of sentiment to go, you know what, we really want to feel, we already feel for these. We've known these characters now for a few years, and Jason's been through a lot, and we'd like to see him doing better and doing well. I kind of miss the fact that Jason had a relationship, and now he doesn't. I think I think that man needs a relationship. And, uh, you know, Ray patching stuff up at home as is, is well. I want to see more of the dynamics that are positive. I think the world needs more positivity, so let's give him something to fight for. So, on that note, we'll see you all in the next one. And check out the uh, other content on the channel as well. And I'll see you later.